Anna, thanks. Happening today, the area's longest running Pride celebration takes place in downtown Youngstown, but not without some changes from the original plans. First News reporter Kyle Wills joins us live downtown with everything you'll want to know. Kyle, good morning. Sam, good morning. This is the 15th year of Pride Youngstown along Phelps Street. There will also be a parade that will start outside of the Tyler History Museum before making its way to Commerce. Now, the plans for today weren't the original ones that were put in place. Pride Fest co-chair Daphne Carr says the original plan was to utilize the space at Penguin City. She says it would have been poetic to open and close Pride Day at the brewery. However, there were discussions with the city about what is safest and best for the celebration. We decided to move over to the west side, over to the Tyler, so that everything would be tightly uh, held in one central location and we wouldn't have to be crossing Market Street and all of the situation that's going over there. The celebration will take up the majority of Phelps Street. On the south end, we'll have all the vendors and food trucks, along with the kids and family area. On the north end will be all the restaurants that will also be serving food and drinks. Music and entertainment will be up on Phelps Street at Commerce. And organizers say that the event will feature family-friendly entertainment along with food, workshops, and live entertainment. That will start at noon today and go all the way to 9 p.m. You can find a list of the details and all the scheduled entertainment for today over at the Pride Youngstown website. Reporting live in Youngstown, Kyle Wills, First News, Saturday morning. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.